So we're living in a world of the monkey paw, the double-edged sword, the quick pro quo. It looks like we've learned 100% what's going to be happening with Transformers and its next Netflix series. Some major confirmation now, not just some vagueness from the powers at be in Rhode Island, as well as we've learned that while we are gaining a new Netflix series, we are also going to be losing some old timers on Netflix. So let's get into that. First thing we're going to get into is what we're going to be losing. Let's go with the bad news before we get the good. So it seems that according to comicbook.com today, four Transformer shows are going to be leaving Netflix this year. So if you have not watched it yet, I suggest you begin your binges ASAP because Transformers Prime, Transformers Rescue Bots, Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015, and Transformers Rescue Bots Academy, oddly enough, everything within that aligned continuity will be removed from Netflix very, very soon. So if you have not watched those, I heavily su suggest that you do. I don't know if it's a contractual thing. I don't know what's going on. But chances are uh, they'll probably end up showing up maybe on Hasbro's Transformer YouTube channel, much like they did with Generation 1 and everything else. I don't want to confirm that. But right now, if you are someone who uses Netflix as your primary way of enjoying Transformer content and streaming... Those four are going to be absent. So definitely check those out, especially Transformers Prime. You're missing out if you haven't. Now then, what about the good news? So what is the new series that now is 100% confirmed? So we had rumblings for months and months and months and vague mentions and all these little things. And, you know, it was going nowhere. Because nothing was being talked about in serious nature. We were finding magazine articles, having blurbs. So we got a confirmation from two of the writers for the next Transformers series on Netflix. And we're talking the Bot Bot series. Now, I know some of you are probably going to groan and go, oh, it's the Bot Bot series. There's nothing really to take away from that. It's the, it's the kiddie one. It's the one that's... And I would have agreed with you. In a lot of ways, I kind of felt like, you know, whatever Bot Bots was going to be was going to be the series that's going to be replacing what Rescue Bots was. And I kind of shared that sentiment until recently, which really helped confirm that this is happening, is two of the head writers of the new Bot Bot series came forward, Alan Denton and Greg Hahn, two people that were the head writers of a very well done series Sonic Boom which was the Sonic the Hedgehog CG series that came out a couple of years ago already wrote four episodes for it so and that there's plans that it's going to be coming out this year possibly this summer so this is very exciting news uh, Sonic Boom even if you're not a Sonic the Hedgehog fan even if you have a vague knowledge of the Sega brand itself didn't grow up with the games have no idea it's a very well written series it's something that really takes the cg sandbox that is that environment and the assets and focuses more on writing and character development and being very meta uh, and just very clever writing and i'm not the biggest sonic the hedgehog fan in the world i was a nintendo guy sega was the opposite of the train tracks in the 90s during that console war um but that being said i still liked sonic for what it was and you know when I went to a friend's house, if they had a Sega Genesis, I was going to play me some Sonic 2. But regardless of the fact, this is fantastic news because it's a very well done series. And primarily why it's so well done is because of how sharp and clever the writing was. And the two head writers of Sonic Boom are going to be part of BotBots. So now we're at this point where I'm just going, okay, we got two very fantastic writers does this mean we're going to get something that's of that kind of level? Are we going to get something that's going to be that Sonic the Hedgehog level of meta kind of writing, self-referential, and all that kind of stuff, but now in the Transformer world? Sign me up, because that'll be absolutely fantastic. BotBots isn't there to replace, you know, to replace our, our main line series, our you know, continuation of the war and the drama and everything like that. It's going to be something that's going to be a little more lighthearted, but 
with the Transformers brand, you got to have that kind of diversity and different kind of segmentation because you could bring in new fans using that kind of stuff. Sometimes people might not want to watch giant robots beat the hell out of each other, you know, chasing after an AllSpark, a Matrix, a, you know, a whatever it be, a Vector Sigma. But if you can have something that's a little more tongue in cheek, a little more comedy, and it brings people into the brand and gives them that first taste of plastic crack, as I like to call it. And whenever they get that first taste of plastic crack, say goodbye to that wallet. Say goodbye to that wallet. Because it's over for you. Before you know it, you're you're, you're buying like the, the, I don't know, the fast food, you know, fanatics and in, in bot bots. And next thing you know, and you're, you're doing pre-orders for $300 masterpiece toys. I can imagine. I can imagine. So that being said, this is fantastic news. So again, we're going to be losing four Transformer series going into 2022, but we're going to be gaining bot bots and it's going to be written by the Sonic Boom guys. And we're going to have our next piece of Transformers fiction going into 2022, because I've said, I've had, I talked about this on the stream, but that's kind of the weird thing that we're going to be having going into 2022. Because Transformers Rise of the Beasts has been delayed to next year, 2023, they really want to go, well, what do we got now? Rise of the Beasts is delayed. The comic book series by IDW is going to be folding soon and going to another company, which is going to put, you know, right away our comic book fiction maybe a little bit in purgatory temporarily. And then, on top of all of that, we had no sign of what's happening with the Nickelodeon series. There was a mention of a Transformers Nickelodeon series. It was also going to be something that was supposedly kind of lighthearted. And even that one kind of is, hey, we don't have any information, but yeah, it's coming one day between now and the end of time. So we didn't know anything. So it started looking like 2022 was going to be this blank slate for fiction and stuff for really people to latch onto. It really was going to be just toys or nothing in a lot of ways. Maybe, you know, a couple cell phone games in between that. But now it looks like we're going to have something. It, and if it's anything like Sonic Boom, mm -mm -mm, again, sign me up. That is going to be pretty fun. And I'm going to say this now. If if this is what I think it is, I get a feeling BotBot -Bot toys are going to have a resurgence of interest. And now some of those older waves of BotBot -Bot toys are all of a sudden going to skyrocket. I saw the exact same thing, and I know it's a weird example, but the same thing happened with Rescue Bots. Rescue Bots as a toy line came out months before the show did. Then when the show came out, all of a sudden the demand for figures of, like just in, in the initial, obviously it changed as time progressed like anything else. There's ebbs and flows in value. But I saw the demand for Boulder, and Boulder's toy was going from like MSRP, you know, $12.99 to 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I get a feeling whoever's going to be featured in this bot bot show their original figures are going to go through the roof it's going to be crazy so just a little warning in advance for the speculators and the people that are looking to uh get an idea of what's going to be happening in the future it's just another thing to consider but yeah hey bot bots is on its way it's confirmed that already as of december 31st i mean this recording is obviously in the new year now but as of december 31st four episodes were already written it's the two Sonic Boom guys, so that means it's going to be some quality stuff. And we're going to be losing four series from the Aligned Continuity. So if you have not watched those, go out of your way, take a weekend, take a day off from work, and binge. I hate that term, but binge this stuff. Because uh, then it's going to be a lot more difficult later on to watch it. Unless, there's, unless they're going to be put on other platforms, then that'll be another story. But uh, let me know what you think. Are you hyped about BotBots? And uh, hopefully we'll get some more information as time comes. And again, congratulations to Alan Denton and Greg Hahn for bringing the good for the BotBots Transformers.